good evening everyone welcome to the next session of principle and practice of management so we'll begin the class in next few minutes let's everyone join in <clears throat> and today we'll complete the topic of mbo mbe is two topics we have to cover okay so we'll begin the session at 95 sharp let's everyone jump in so yesterday i think uh, <clears throat> we have started with mbo the introduction part of mbo we have started that is management by objective we have also discussed about the bureaucracy approach okay and this is the topic we need to continue okay so waiting for few more minutes and we'll begin the session Uh, yes, it's definitely because I am going <clears throat> as per the flow of the sequence of the syllabus. Because there are some topics which are interrelated, and that's the reason we are going with the sequence of the topic which are related to each other. Okay, guys, guys, please don't write anything on the screen. Yeah, perfect. So, guys, we should start now. So, yesterday, I think if you do remember. we have started with the mbo that is management by objective as i told you that management by objective is basically a technique where each and every department each and every individuals working in the company <clears throat> each and every manager working in the company having some set goals in their mind and because of setting goals as well they have that clarity about what they want to achieve in the organization in short period of time in next one year of time means they have certain deadlines in their mind and that particular deadline will give them a particular level of thinking process planning process so that, that they would actually plan about their activity and activity completion we can say in such a manner the most important part about mbo is that it was developed by peter f drucker he is also called the father of management as well and <clears throat> in order to take any constructive or efficient decision in the organization a company must always need to 
decide their destination and destination means the ultimate target which they want to achieve okay that was the basic uh, you could say component of your mv4 okay now <clears throat> the next part is the various activities which comes under mbo okay now these mbo activity basically consist of participating in the strategic planning process in in order to improve the implementation of the plan now as you know that whenever we talk about any particular organization and when the companies are basically formulating any strategy for example they want to launch any new product if the companies are facing any issue with their sales if the companies are facing issues with their employee turnover if the companies uh, if the companies employees are not happy with the working environment see whatever strategy they need to opt or whatever planning they need to do the important thing is that all these strategies can easily be implemented or easily be you could say formulated only when when you have a particular proper planning planning about what you want to achieve what problem the company is facing along with that how the company can improve the planning process for the same and how the company can actually implement those plan because planning is nothing whatever we are actually creating or whatever we are drafting on paper and how this particular drafting may be implemented in reality means basically nothing but something which is on paper which is being planned how you can implement it okay so when we talk about this particular mbo activity mbo is nothing but basically how the planning is being done and how that particular planning will be uh, <clears throat> you could say successful when the company would have some destination in their mind when the things are going on right track when the things are going in the right direction as per the requirement of the organization so that is basically called the various activities which is performed under mbo is it clear guys planning and implementation everyone kindly confirm anubha planning and implement something but basically whenever the company is formulating any strategy strategy in terms of launching a new product developing a new strategy improving the sales of the company uh, marketing efforts of the organization any strategy how this strategy can be practically implemented and that is only possible when you have the clear objective in your mind what is the purpose behind planning process in the organization Clear? Perfect. Anyone else having any doubt, guys? Is this part clear to everyone? Perfect. Let's move to the next slide then. Now the next topic is basically the core concept of MBO, which we need to discuss. Okay. Now, what are the various core concepts we are talking right now when it's come to MBO? Definitely, there are a lot of uh, <clears throat> you could say conceptual understanding which we need to implement. Okay, so let's start with the very first point that is called setting the objectives. Now, when I'm just talking about setting the objectives in the company, there are basically three major uh, proportion which comes always in the picture. Now, setting the objective means what? Setting the targets for your subordinate setting the target for your company setting the target for your department means at each and every level of the organization the individual or the company or the member of that particular team must be aware about what exactly they want to achieve what sort of you could say program and method they need to opt what sort of you could say controlling tool controlling tool is basically nothing but when we are going out of the track okay whatever which is being planned by the company if it is not going in the direction whatever the company is thinking through okay in such a cases we need to keep in mind that whether the companies you could say whatever the objective is they set or the whatever the deadline company has decided is it going on the right track or not is it the program which the company has planned is the goal has company has set for the short period of time is it going in the right direction or the right track or not that exactly will come under setting the objectives <clears throat> is it clear <clears throat> everyone setting objective is very simple guys sure let's move to the next slide now then we have the 
next topic that is called the characteristics now okay now characteristics basically consists when it come to mbo so first thing is participation in setting goals now as you know that when we are talking about the open environment in the company the open environment will always actually tell you about how the particular organization each and every member become an important entity in the organization and they can contribute irrespective of the whatever level they belongs to they have a right to give their opinion give their suggestion to the uh, if it's a department or to the higher level department as well in the organization so when we talk about the characteristic the very first point is that participation in setting goals means each and every individual is basically equally responsible for giving their uh, giving their you could say opinion in the organization and they have a right to do so means it is basically called the open working or open system in the organization to set the goal and the goal may be set by the company by taking suggestions from each and every important member of the organization irrespective of the level they belongs to is it clear guys everyone sure perfect let's move to the second point then focus on what rather than how okay we need to focus on our strength it's very important okay rather to think about the weakness of the company so it's very important that whenever you are <coughs> going ahead and planning about the company's activity you have to keep in mind what you want to achieve rather to focus on how you will achieve actually concentration of key result area what exactly your targets and systematic and rational technique systematic and rational means whatever method technique or uh, you could say option you will choose in order to resolve the issues of the company or problem of the company you have to keep in mind that all the method or planning which you are which you gonna to do that must be properly planned properly route properly and rooted in the organization and that should be rational as well rational means it should be error free when it's come to applying these techniques in the organization is this clear everyone point number 4 is basically the technique which you want to use sozi techniques means basically nothing but any statistical tool any method when it's come to you could say brainstorming uh you could say uh, expert review okay or any content technique when it's come to statistical analysis as well these actually come under systematic and uh, and rational technique which should be error free concentration of key result mahesh it is basically nothing but what is your target up front if you belong to sales department you have a target very differently if you belong to marketing department targets are very different and but each and every one must know about what exactly the purpose or what exactly the point behind actually coming up with that organization clear so each and every department having their own objectives on result area on focus area on output uh, you can say output multiples we can say and according to that you need to focus okay now the process of mbo we need to start it's very simple i think so because first of all you need to set the organization goals then you need to define the employee objective who whosoever the, they are working in the company each and every one must know about their objective their purpose their targets monitor them monitor their performances whether they are going in right track or not if not definitely you need to guide them immediately you need to mentor them immediately evaluate their performances giving feedback and go and then go for performance appraisal as you know that because it's very very common practice in each and every organization because how the performance appraisal will be done this is the process through which the companies are continuously monitoring observing the employee in the organization in order to understand their activities so that mbo stands for management by objective
uh, guys clear cross of mbo i think it's very simple sure now we did have the description of that now when we come to defining the goals okay goal means nothing but targets the purpose of the company why the business stands business vision and mission business long term perspective okay because if the goal is setting up properly and each and every employee knows it uh, you could say very thoroughly what exactly the purpose behind that definitely each and everyone having clear idea they have uh, it actually motivates the people as well it will actually one of the way through which you can measure the progress of the particular company okay and goal should be smart in nature smart means it should be specific who what when and why it should be measurable means it should be quantifiable 10% sales 20% profit 20% roi achievable means it should be realistic as well it should not be you could say beyond the hypothecation or beyond the imagination of the particular person and practically it should be possible to achieve realistic means result oriented and time based means there should be a deadline to complete that so always do remember whenever we are defining a goal the goal should always be smart in nature specific measurable achievable realistic and time based clear everyone sure thank you now we have the next part that is called the action plan now action plan is nothing but basically whenever a particular worker working in the company and let us suppose for example if we talk about sales employee okay a sales employee is basically because they always face a lot of challenges from the top management or from their managers that uh, some some sometime in a month if you could not be able to achieve the sales definitely they will always actually <clears throat> poke you for why the sales is not achieved because they are not at all considering any particular factor they always want result at the end of the day okay what about the action plan if someone is not performing well what about the action plan if someone is performing exceptionally well means it will actually give the direction to achieve the goal organization what is to be done how the subordinate will proceed to you or how the subordinate will help you guide you what steps to be taken to achieve something efficiently and effectively and what action plan if a particular person is going rude if the particular person is not able to do something good we can say in the company means for both the aspect of the particular performance these sort of action plan always play a very very crucial role in the organization that is called the action plan action plan means you need to take some uh, we can say decision in the company about the outstanding performances and below the standard performances and how it can be improved that is again the one of the key area of consideration you need to keep it clear guys it's very simple let's let's move to the next part then we have the final review i think it's very simple because we are comparing the result with the standards and if there is a positive deviation it's good for the company if the things are negative means your actual performances is less than the standard definitely company need to think about the what exactly the problems is the company that are facing or where the company is lacking actually they need to find out the lacuna they need to find out the loopholes or the problems which is being generated now next one we have benefits now it's very simple i think benefits of setting goals clear perfect limitations as well it's very simple i think let's see guys important thing is that you need to understand what is mbo okay <clears throat> that is an important point to uh, discuss in the classes as well
Clear guys, limitations, any doubt in this? Sorry. MBO is clear guys, what is MBO first of all? Because see guys, this is the topic we are discussing more theoretically right now. Yeah, perfect. Now the next important topic is called your MBE management by exception. Okay. Any thought about what is MBE? It is basically style of management to concentrate on important and critical matter of the company. Because as you know that Management by exception. Anyone having any idea about this? Because management by exception, nothing but basically when you have a lot of work to do up front, a lot of, you could say, tasks you need to complete in the company, but company or the top management will tell you to concentrate on the priorities of the organization. That is called MBE. For example, even in your personal life as well. For example, at the end of your monthly salary, which is about 50,000 rupees per month, you have some priority up front, paying the EMI, uh, you could say managing your household expenses. After that, whatever is left, it's up to you that because of, somehow you need to set the priorities in the organization as well, that what should be done on a, pri on a you could say, importance basis or on a, on a sequence basis. And you always need to focus on important and critical matter first. Something which you can delay, something which you can pass on, or would be done by your, uh, ex, uh, you could say immediate subordinate will be good for the company. But important thing is that the company uh, and the individuals and the managers working in the company, they always must know what is critical, what is important, and they need to go ahead in that direction. <clears throat> okay. Now, the basic important and features of this particular, uh, you could say MPE. Okay. Measurement. Measurement means numerical data to compare. Means we, and I'm talking right now because whenever we have target up front, whether it is sales target, target to achieve a certain level of profit, target to, uh, you could say, provide certain level of return on investment to your, to your clients. Okay. That is called measurable. Projection means future expectation because you, based on your experiences, based on your knowledge, based on your skill set, you always predict future because see, prediction of the future does not mean you're always right. But based on your experiences, based on your knowledge, you can always identify, you can always uh, try to understand that how these things may be implemented in reality based on the future expectations. Selection means parameters, what factors you need to consider to take the decision making. For example, if the particular company's marketing department is facing some issue when it's come to marketing tactics to attract the customer, what parameter to consider? If the parameter is your cost, Parameter is your price. Parameter is a discount. That is called the selection in the factors you need to consider. Observation, I think, is very common. You need to understand the existing performance of the company. Compare with actual. And if there is deviation, positive deviation occur. Good for the company. If the actual performance is less than the standard, then definitely it's a, it's an area of concern for the company. And you need to take a decision making in the organization accordingly. Okay, so management by exception always works on the priority work, important work in the company, which you must need to resolve on an immediate basis or on an urgency basis. That is called the MBE. Now, next we have the process now. It's very simple, I think. First of all, you need to focus on key areas, establishing a standard, compare the standard with this, uh, you could say, <clears throat> with the actual, find out the differences between these two, actual performance and the standard performances, find out the reason behind those differences, and for uh, you could say implement certain strategy to recorrect it. That is called your process of MBE. Is it clear, guys? I think we are discussing this topic continuously and in a, in a different uh, you could say modes. Clear.
perfect now the last topic of the day guys different management styles there are basically three different management style which the world used to follow indian uh, organization also follow some indian style japanese style or american style because you can also go through with other different styles of uh, managing a company first i'm talking about the american style american style is very very uh, we can say based on more a practical or more aggressive style in which managers are always accountable for all the decision making because an individual is always responsible for decision making in the organization <coughs> second point we have a japanese style okay japanese style basically work from the information flow from bottom to top and these type of we could say japanese style are basically more we can say based on group work based on team work based on you could say uh, sharing uh, sharing pattern so that not about an individual but as a group you can achieve something effective in the long run that is called japanese style of management and the last one is indian style usually i am not actually because some some of you might not might be contradict with that but usually the indian style of boss and management culture is basically a more autocratic it is more about a boss culture if i am your boss if i am your faculty i will not listen to anyone in the class right now same happen in the organization as well okay but there should be see basically when it's when you talk about the mix culture because japanese culture is basically followed everywhere gotham okay because it is more humble more gratified okay and more we can say uh, cooperative management is they always follow and that's the reason japanese culture is it is being taught in lot of uh, you could say subject areas in the reality as well okay then we have uh, uh, you could say indian culture which i'm talking about boss culture giving instructions only flow of information always from top to bottom it is basically i am not saying that it is 100% true but in the most of the indian organization these type of you could say style it is being followed always is this clear yes definitely japan is more democratic or we can say it is more participative sami it is more participative okay these slides are not available for you guys i am i'll tell i'm tell, i already told you that these are the basically the notes for teaching purpose i will give you some detailed notes of all this topics okay so no need to worry about the ebooks i have already shared on your google classroom group so i think you can access it from okay any doubt guys to anyone slide number 85 okay no 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 instructions would be there mahesh instructions would be there but it does not mean that uh there would be always a autocratic culture because even though if i am a manager in the company i am giving the instructions to you but i would always be your supporting staff or always become your you could say a mentor for you to manage all this important perspective okay <clears throat> so that is basically what we can consider as a democratic style or we can say it is that's why it is called more participative style of management clear perfect guys chill so guys thank you so much because this is done now for the day and tomorrow i will start one minute let me check what we're going to start tomorrow because we are done with this particular basic part of management and uh, mbo mbe we talk about different uh, perspective of the management as well evolution of management we have also discussed okay <clears throat>
now tomorrow i think uh, we should start with the next topic that is planning okay so planning i'll start from tomorrow okay and it is again one of the very easy topic to cover up so planning then we'll move to directing and controlling and then we'll move to decision making and organizing okay so these are the topic which is left in syllabus so tomorrow i think i'll start with the introduction to planning process okay guys anything else apart from this anything else guys no chal good night everyone see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock okay thank you so much everyone